Okay, so we have a static list of names here that is displaying, but what we want to do is display some dynamic data. Another file that I want to quickly copy over from my uh, GitHub repo is that list of baby names data from the Yahoo website. So if you go in the GitHub repo, there's a data, uh, data folder in data.js. You can copy that big list of names that I've done already. And we will create, to get organized in our source folder, we'll create a new folder called data. And inside that folder, we'll create a new file called data.js. And I will paste the 200 names inside that file. Press save. Now, we need to find a way to bring that data inside our React components. The way React works is every bit of data is flowing in one way from the top component, which is our app component here, down into the children components. The way data is passed down is called via props or properties. For example, I could say um, name equals Simon, age equals 34, and these are props, property name, property age. By passing these properties to the app component, I can now in my app component, when I work in it, access them. If you want to output JavaScript inside JSX, you put curly braces like this. So now properties can be accessed via this dot props. This props then gives me access to the different properties. So if I add that name, remember we named the index, uh, we, we named a name property Simon. So this dot props dot name should here give me the name Simon. Let's see what happens. Here we go, Simon. In the similar way, I can have an li with this that props that age and you guessed it it's gonna show my age 34 I'm actually 35 but that'll do cool so instead of passing again static data what I want to do is to actually pass the entire data set from a data file that we created here inside my app component first thing I'll do is I will import that file into this um, index.js import, let's call it data, from, and because this is not a node module, but one of our files, we need a relative path. So current folder slash data slash data. We don't need the .js because it's assumed by default. So now that we've imported that into data, I could say that I want to pass a data attribute and this is a JavaScript variable, so curly braces. And I want to pass the data like this. We can remove this demo. So now what happens is I have sent a props with the name of data that passes all the data from that file into our app component. So if I go into app.js, if you want to log something in the console, don't do it inside the return statement or it'll break the JSX. But inside the render method, I can here go console.log this.props.data. And I'll just add our data is for some clarity. Press save. And I will now open the console here and we should see a giant array of 200 names. If I toggle that down, you can see that the name number 12 is Beatrice, which is a girl. Number 16, Aurora, a girl too, etc. This is great because now we can actually access all of that data in our component and display it there. And this is what we're going to do in the next video. Thank you.